Welcome to Mojo. This video will demonstrate how to assign a secondary time manager by a primary time manager. This procedure is used by the primary time manager to assign the role of secondary time manager to members of their team. As part of the demonstration, we will show you how to search for the organizational unit of the staff member, how to search for a staff member on your team, how to assign the staff member the role of secondary time manager, and how to extend the assignment of the secondary time manager. To do this, the primary time manager identifies one or more members of his or her team and assigns them the role of secondary time manager. Click on the user map link. Click on the secondary managers tab. If any secondary time managers have been assigned, they will appear in the lists as in our example below. Next, you'll be adding an additional secondary manager to the existing list. Click on create. Select or enter the date you want the secondary time manager's time approval rights to begin. In this demonstration, you will click on the calendar icon to select the date. You'll be assigning a secondary time manager for the period of 1 April 2015 to 10 April 2015. Click on the Next Month icon. Click on the Start Date. In this demonstration, you will click on 1st of April. Select or enter the date you want the secondary time manager's time approval rights to stop. In this demonstration, you will click on the calendar icon and select a date. Click on the arrow to view the next month. Click on the end date. In this demonstration, you will select the 10th of April. If you do not want the approval rights to end yet, then enter 31129999. Next, you will be selecting the organizational unit of the secondary manager. Enter or select the organizational unit ID you will be assigning to the secondary time manager. In this demonstration, you'll click on the icon to search for the organization ID. Enter the organization number or name. For this demonstration, enter the organizational name OCHA CPD CSB. If you do not know the exact acronym for the organization, you can use the wildcards example OCHA asterisk and a list of all OCHA organizations will appear from which you can select. Click the Start Search button. A list of organizational units that match the name entered appear. Select the organizational unit by clicking on the gray box next to the applicable unit. Click OK. The information will appear in the Organization ID field. If you know the Secondary Time Manager's personnel number, then enter the number. Otherwise, click on the icon to search by first or last name. Enter the Secondary Time Manager's first or last name. In this demonstration, you'll enter their last name, Saddlefield. If you don't know the spelling of the name, you can use a wildcard example, type SATT asterisk, and a list of members on your team that contain the letters entered will appear for you to select. Click on the Start Search button. A list of staff members matching the entry will appear. Select the applicable staff member by clicking on the gray button next to the staff member's name. Click on OK. The selected staff member will appear in the Secondary Manager field. Click Save. A message appears indicating that the assignment of a secondary time manager was successful. The secondary time manager appears in the list by index number. Next, you'll extend the period of the secondary time manager's assignment. Select the secondary manager for which you want to extend the assignment by selecting the gray button. Click on Edit. Enter or select the date you want to extend the assignment to. In this scenario, you'll be extending the manager's assignment until 24 April 2015. Click on the calendar button. Select the date 24 April 2015. Click on Save. The new end date for the assignment will appear in the list. Click on any of the tabs to perform your next task. You have now completed this Emoja Manager self-service video.